There are cat people and there are dog people. But what happens when a dog person and a cat person who live in the same house can't come to a decision on which pet to get? Well, they compromise and get the one that can sit on the fence and straddle it. A cat that acts like a dog. You're watching Animal Facts. Number 10. Maine Coon. If all cats are standoffish and aloof, no one told the Maine Coon. Maine Coons are like the dogs we featured in the Velcro Dogs videos. They are playful, affectionate, and love nothing more than the shadow of their humans. So if you choose one as your fur baby, be ready to give up most of your privacy, and since Mains are also about the same size as a small dog, a big chunk of your personal space. Number 9 Sphinx one major difference between parenting a cat and parenting a dog is you never have to bathe a cat, unless you have a sphinx. Although the sphinx is thought to be a hairless breed, it is covered in ultra-fine hairs. But because the hair is different from that of other cats, they must be bathed regularly to prevent skin problems. Like dogs, sphinxes are also known for their loyalty and devotion. They prefer to stick close to the humans and will follow you to the ends of the earth, wagging, yes, wagging their tails all the way. Number 8 American Bobtail Got kids? There's a cat for that. The American Bobtail is an affectionate, intelligent breed that, that readily forms a strong bond with their humans. Bobtails seem to be tailor-made for households with children. They love to play games like fetch or hide and seek, and have a dog-like tolerance for noise and chaos that helps them adapt well to the pandemonium that comes with family life. And you don't have to worry about rough play between the kids and your bobtail. A stocky, sturdy breed, they also have delightfully nubby or bob tails that are difficult for little hands to grasp giving Santa one less reason to put your little ones on the naughty list. Which do you think is the better pet for kids? A dog, a cat, or a dog-like cat? Number 7 Abyssinian Oil and water don't mix, unless it's in milk or margarine, and cats and water don't mix, unless it's in Abyssinian. The elfin-faced Abyssinian loves water, so it's a fantastic cat for dog people who enjoy sailing, water sports, lazy days at the beach, bubble baths, long showers, washing dishes, well, you get the point. Other dog-like behaviors include a fondness for fetching toys, acceptance of leash training, and a constant need for attention. If you're not into Velcro dogs, then chances are you won't be into Velcro cats either. But who cares about a little adhesion when you have a cat you can take for a swim, a walk, and will bring you your slippers after all that exercise. Number 6 Ragdolls Dogs have a reputation for being more easygoing than cats. But there is one feline that is as laid back as any canine, the ragdoll cat. Ragdolls get along great with both kids and adults and get their name from a rather odd behavior. Whenever you pick one up, it will go completely limp, like a ragdoll. Why? No one really knows. It may be a passive-aggressive means of trying to stay put or simply an extension of their calm, relaxed nature. Whatever the case, this breed is intelligent, affectionate, and can be trained to fetch, and makes an excellent lap cat. Raggedy Ann ain't got nothing on the rag doll. Number 5 Manx On any given day, the average house cat won't even acknowledge your presence, let alone react when someone calls her name. 
But the Manx Cat will not only socialize with you and your family, it will come when you call its name. So if you call a Manx with a generic here kitty kitty, you might want to make sure your new pal's name is actually Kitty. Manx are very energetic and enjoy hunting rodents. Other dog-like behaviors include shadowing, learning verbal commands, retrieving, and sometimes even burying small objects. Number 4 Turkish Angora When you hear their name, you might figure that they're some bougie glamour puss breed, but the Turkish Angora is very friendly and outgoing like most dogs. Angoras are so hospitable that at social gatherings, they will greet guests at the door and play co-host. They will mingle with everybody on a one-on-one -on -one basis, giving you the opportunity to run to the kitchen for another plate of hors d'oeuvres. Although Angoras are the social butterflies of our list, they have the tendency to select one particular family member to be their sidekick and would be very protective of them, much like dogs. They are also highly intelligent, easy to train, and exhibit basic problem solving skills, which they use to help their humans whenever they can. Number 3 Shachu Chartreux cats are another breed that will choose a favorite human to bond with in shadow, but there won't be much chit chat between the two, as Chartreux rarely make sounds and are mute. But what they lack in conversation skills, they more than make up for in intellect. It is not unusual for Chartreux to learn how to operate power buttons on electronics and appliances, or to open latches. And if there were a checklist of canine attributes, we could put a check mark in virtually every box. They are quite playful, get along great with children and other animals, and will happily challenge their dog siblings in a friendly game of fetch. Like some of the previously named breeds, Chartreuse will also answer to their names. Checklist complete. Number 2 Burmese Who says you can't be smart and funny? Certainly not anyone who is friends with a Burmese cat. Burmese are sweet, intelligent, and love to entertain themselves and their humans with their dog-like shenanigans. They are experts at retrieving and telling time, yes, telling time. Well, not really, but at mealtime they will sit and wait by their bowl, just as dogs do. If you have a Burmese as a housemate, it is recommended not to leave them alone for extended periods of time. As a breed that is known for being extremely dependent on their humans, it is best to find someone to cat sit them while you're away. Number 1 Asakot Although the ocelot gets its name for the resemblance to the ocelot, a wild cat that is native to Mexico, Central and South America, and the southwestern U.S., it is probably the most domesticated puppy-like cat on our list. They are, dare we say, the total package. Ocelots thrive on social interaction. They are affectionate with their family, never meet a stranger, and are friendly to other types of animals. Like some of the previously named breeds, Ocelots will choose one family member as their favorite and latch on for dear life. Most Ocelots can be trained to walk on a leash and to follow commands. Like dogs, they can learn to come when called by name, sit, fetch, roll over, lie down, and a variety of other tricks. Ocelots are extraordinarily agile, even for felines and you can easily prompt them into getting a good workout by playfully tossing their toys around. And as if they needed another behavior to add to their catalog of canine characteristics, some Ocelots take to water without hesitation. What cat-like behaviors have you observed in certain dog breeds? Thanks for hanging with me. If you like this video, you like these. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If not, what are you waiting for? And as always, 
Catch you next time.